Let's look at uh, the topic two that's about other benefits and an incentives uh, can be offered to an employee. Uh, every employee may not be happy only with the salary component, so they'll be looking at something extra. So that's what exactly this particular benefit and the incentive thing talks, talks about. So variable pay will be always better to you know motivate the employee. It will act as a kind of trigger for an employee to you know perform better. So that's a way if you look into it, incentives for a performance. So what is the kind of a variable uh, you know pay, pay assumptions can be possible. So we need to make sure that you know some people perform better than other employees and they'll be very very productive. So uh, to reward them to recognize that you know we come out of them pay incentives and uh, other kind of a thing is better performing employees should have an you know uh, receive a kind right kind of a compensation more kind of a compensation only then they'll be highly motivated and uh, part of you know let's say compensation should uh, be uh, uh, directly you know to the performance and the results and some job contribute more than the organizational success than others so ultimately you know those kind of an uh, high performance workers has to be you know specially treated for that reason actually in you know, the variable pay what you call the incentive schemes have been brought in and let's look at what is the kind of you know way we can develop the pay for a performance plan uh, the pay for a performance plan you know based purely on uh, we need to link it with the strategic uh, goal of the organization and we need to look at the uh, you know the result of the particular employee and we also need to you know look at the employee performance and we need to you know probably promote the enhancement of an you know what you call it as overall objectives so these are the ways actually you know the the points will be taken into consideration accordingly it will be done now let's try to look at what are the kind of a categories of an you know variable pay plan uh, in in general we can broadly classify this variable pay plan or what you call incentive into three major category first one is an individual uh, incentive the second one is a group uh, or a team incentive and the third one is overall organization bonus or what you call incentive now let's come to the first part of it that is individual kind of an you know incentive when it comes to the individual incentive it is purely based on uh, you know uh, what you call it as uh, uh, facilitate the system and uh, you know it is completely peace rate kind of a system where how an employee has contributed for the organization based on that particular thing based on the kind of a performance of an individual employee we try to fix the piece per rate how much extra they've done compared to you know probably as compared to what uh, the regularly they're supposed to do and the next one is you know we try to provide a bonus for an uh, you know employee and we try to work out a special kind of an you know incentive program and uh, it's purely based on the kind of an you know uh, what you call it is the the compensation and you know the sales uh, compensation will be provided uh, separately if an employee happened to be in the sales department now let's come to the second kind of a category there uh, you know your group or a team kind of an you know category when we look at the group incentives or a team incentives uh, you know it, it's something like the entire department uh, you know contribution will be taken into consideration and it will be a group team results and it will be a gain sharing and uh, ultimately you know it's about the quality improvement and if they reduce the cost that also will be taken into consideration and accordingly it will be done third kind of an you know, variable pay plan is of your organizational planning its organization planning is nothing but a profit sharing of the overall organization with the all employees in the form of an you know, let's say bonus or it could be let's say employee stock option or it could be let's say like you know uh, deferred kind of you know compensation whatever arrears what you call so those these are the ways actually you know they try to share it with uh, the employees so these are the ways actually you know the variable plan can be worked out and uh, now let's try to you know uh, come to the common trend which is picked up in uh, IT industry and the service industry recently you know uh, I would say like last 10 years so this kind of an you know incentive plan is one of the major kind of a plan so only the traditional kind of a setup you have the bonus and uh, other kind of an you know variable plan whereas in the modern kind of a setup in IT kind of an industries uh, they try to look at uh, the overall project performance and based on that they'll be provided other, other than that you know uh, very important and key kind of an employees they'll be given with an employee stock option plan so employee stock ownership plan is nothing but in short it's known as ESOP that is uh, ESOP and the idea behind ESOP is like you know the public you know company should be a public limited company and out of which you know the sh certain shares will be allocated to an employee and based on the market rate 
you know even the stock option program and then your worth also you know goes up and every year or probably once in two years they will try to release that and then they'll try to you know probably give it to an employees so that can be a best kind of an you know uh, what you call it as cash out and it's a plan whereby employee gains significant stock ownership in the organization for which they work advantages actually you know favorable tax treatment for esop earnings and employee motivated by their ownership uh, of the stake in the firm so they will feel that belongingness because they are part of the organization and they are also you know part of a owners disadvantages actually you know retirement benefit is tied to the firm's future performance and uh, ultimately you know your overall retirement benefits will be purely based on the organization performance if the organization is not performing well then you won't get the best uh, you know return out of it and the second thing is actually management tool to you know uh, friend the uh, friend of actually hostile takeover attempts so when it comes to you know any kind of a takeover and other things your organization will not uh, uh, provide you that kind of an options and other than that there are other kind of an employee benefits can be looked into it uh, rewards such as retirement plan like your pension fund or a gratuity or you know provident fund and those kind of a thing and other than that uh, health insurance can be one of the kind of you know employee benefits and what you call ltc or lta uh, leave travel allowance or leave travel you know conveyance uh, in the form of a vacation you can provide and other than that many companies started giving sabbatical leave for one year or two year to upgrade themselves with uh, you know probably uh, taking up a further qualification or probably attending some kind of a training program and other than the tuition reimbursement would be provided uh, you know for an employee is either entirely or part of the company's expenses so 30% of the total employee compensation actually you know can go in the form of an employee benefits uh, some of the benefit required by law as per the government uh, there is a social security uh, it's applicable in the western country whereas in india you know you have the provident fund and esi and those kind of a benefits and uh, medicare contribution you know in india esi is you know for the low level employees and uh, for an higher level employees probably the medical reimbursement it's not mandatory but you know it depends on the company to you know provide and other than that uh, state unemployment insurance is uh, part of the you know uh, developed countries uh, you know you need to be uh, provide them and uh, whereas the cost of the healthcare are increasing uh, increasingly be shifted to workers and the retirement plans have become big areas of a concern for businesses because uh, retirement plans there are multiple kind of a products have come equity based debt based and so many other things so there are different different kind of you know way they work out the retirement plan and uh, you know these are the ways actually you know the overall compensation has been set uh, uh, and the other benefits and incentives have been set in the organization